What's up guys, Dark Dally here for another episode of Ghost Recon Wildlands Best Sites and Landmarks. Now I've had one or two viewers um, asking that I return to some deep jungle locations and uh, I was reading those comments and the first place that came to mind was right here. I have not been here since, boy, since I was questing here, since I was doing missions here and I remembered when I came here I was like, oh, this place is really cool. I've got to do an episode here. i got to come back sometime, clear this place out again so I can shoot an episode. Let me show you where I'm at. Far Eastern Caimanes at the uh, yeah, San Miguel Ruins. And this, is, this place is really cool. When I was first clearing this place out, I had to really stop and, and take a good look around. Now, I think there might be a Kingslayer file here, but there's nothing lore related. Or if there is, nothing lore related to this place. Remains of a colonial site. Okay, yeah, I was going to say, it doesn't look Incan because there's a lot of Christian symbolism here and, well, the construction of the buildings and stuff. It looks more like a mission than pre-Columbian ruins. Okay, so this is so this is remains of a colonial site. Very cool. Now, in order to clear this place out and check it out, you kind of got to clear this whole base out as well as that one over there or at least the drone jammer. So I've been here a little bit, but it was worth it to come back so I could check this place out because when you're going through here there's a lot of stuff that's well there's a lot of foliage and grass and plants here it's kind of hard to see everything so I'm, I'm glad I came back to get the chance to really take a look through this place you got to kind of wonder what happened because a lot of these buildings <clears throat> you, you could tell are were, were much taller and are just buried where, where, where was one I saw one over here that was just like completely buried Okay, I don't know. We'll probably come across it. So we got this building up here. Now this is really cool. I like Kamanes. I want to find more places over here in the in deep, thick jungle to come and explore. So let's see what else here. We got some kind of... I think there's a church over here. Or the remains of one. And then we have like a wall. Let's see what this wall's... Let's see if there's anything in here. Yeah, see a lot of this has been like buried. You know, because originally this wall would have been much taller. So somehow this has, like, all been buried and stuff. So there's a ruined church right there, I believe. And, of course, the cartel has come in and kind of turned this into their own, you know, personal little drug trafficking place on the river. Okay, here's a little building. There's not a lot here in the way of decoration because it's mostly ruined buildings. So, this church would have been, I'm assuming, much taller like everything else here. It, you know what? It probably has to do with this place being flooded. And on that note, there is a related Kingslayer file, whoops, which may have come from here. In fact, it likely did. Let's go check this Kingslayer file out here. The Pontanal, wait, the Pontanal is the world's largest wetland with more than 150,000 square kilometers shared between Brazil, Bolivia, and Paraguay. During the rainy season, nearly 80% of the floodplains are underwater. Various ecosystems house a tremendous biodiversity, notably rare aquatic plants, and caimans. Oh, those are like uh, some kind of alligator or something whose teeth are used as tal talismans by locals. That's right. Caimanes is, uh, I think it's Spanish for like alligators or something. Correct me if I'm wrong. Okay, very interesting. And that probably explains why so many of these buildings look like they're buried. It's probably these floods, the, the floodplains... The water's rising, you know, causing dirt to pile up, and then the water goes down, and the water comes back up. That's very cool. So we might find some decent, we might find some cool stuff, like, buried under the water. I mean, who knows? I haven't looked around here much. Yeah, see, there's junk all piled up here. Okay, that probably was the Kingslayer file that I found here, because I'm, I'm looking through here, and I'm like, man, this place is, like, buried. Here is the old little ruined church. See all the little pews knocked over. Now, there is something interesting because this dirt is obviously, I don't know, this the dirt here looks higher. It looks like this is buried, and yet the pews are on top of it. But it, it could just be my perspective because the roof, you know, and everything else is missing. So it's one of those big archways. Oh, look, the statue. Whoa. Got some rebels here. Oh, this is cool. The statue is like sinking down into the mud. Very cool. Let's see. Of course, we can't go in there. Eh, I'm sure there's no way up there. Just uh, like a bell tower. 
this is this is cool, a little ruined church. I'm sure if I look closely, there's a lot here because there's a lot of buildings. Oh, look at this. It's like, oh, wow. You think there's like floating dead bodies and stuff here? <laughs> I mean, because, wow, that's kind of, that's crazy cool how they did that. How they decided, how they have this flooded graveyard and the tombs are all sinking into the mud. That's very cool. I came through here and I just didn't notice that. I didn't notice, I guess you could say it's sad. It's, it's definitely interesting. And it's very cool how you can see the water is just swelling up and taking all this over. Not a very sound place to build, I would think. But I don't know. I've never been in a you know a swampy like bayou kind of area like this, so I don't I don't know. How big is this graveyard? We got tombs here. Looks like pretty small, just these just these tombs here. Well, who knows? It's probably bigger and just completely buried. Okay, now this is cool. This is a l interesting little building. What's in here? Curious? I don't know. Let's check this out. Oh, whoa, well, that looks kind of cool. Interesting how all these roofs are like rotten away and collapsed. This one's still here and intact. Looks in pretty good condition. Now I wonder if there's any of this entangled with some of the stuff the cartel has built over here. Let's see, because I haven't looked over here too much. Oh, yeah, here's an old building. There's an old building right here. So what, this is probably, you know, supposedly probably 400 years old or something, I would think. I mean, that sounds about right. You know, Spanish conquistador era, thereabouts. Never seen any, like, actual ruins, you know, in real life like this. <clears throat> I think it'd be pretty cool to live in a place that had history like that. So, you, you know, it'd be cool to walk around and see this kind of stuff. Ah, beautiful Kaimane's weather. Yes. Oh, let's get a bird's eye view from up here. Real quick and see what else is worth checking out. I, I'm pretty sure that that was the Kingslayer file associated with this place. Because I, I seem to remember finding a legend here, and there's only like two legends in Kaimanes. One is the Child Hut, which we've done, and the other is the one I just read. Let's get an aerial view. I, I guess I could have just done this instead of climbing the watchtower. Yeah, again, it's a shame there's not fan boats to get around these these swamps. These boats, they just don't work. Uh, if you ever try to drive a boat across Kaimanes, you're always getting jammed up on on the dirt and stuff. Well, this place is pretty cool. Maybe the next time you guys come through here, stop and check it out instead of just, you know, when you clear it out, have a look around. It's pretty cool because this is definitely, I, I know I, I go through a lot of places that are easy to miss, but this one especially, it's easy to run through here with guns blazing or rather stealth through here with suppressors blazing. And not really no you know, not really notice all the coolness here. Now there's no decoration here like we often see. Look at that you got like rotted, broken timbers. You know, there's not there's none of the fine detailed decoration. But I think this right here was actually a really cool touch, this little sunken graveyard. This place really does kind of give me the impression that the yeah, it's just like flooded. It's completely flooded. What do you think this looked like 400 years ago? Probably much different. All right, this place was pretty cool. Um, I th I'm thinking next, I, I still do want to do a llama special. <laughs> I mentioned that before I left on my vacation, and I still do intend on doing a llama special. I may do that next. I'm not sure. I'm kind of busy now with uh, the uh, Sniper Ghost Warrior 3. So uh, next episode may be in Inca Kamina. I don't know. Stay tuned and find out. Maybe we'll do some Inca Ruins next time. I thought this was Inca ruins, and because, like I said, you come through here, you blaze through here, you kill the guys on the because there's some kind of mission around here to blow up submarines or something, and then you leave and you don't you, you don't think too much about it. And I just kind of assumed it was Inca ruins. Very cool to come back here and see that it's not, but rather colonial ruins from the Spanish conquistadors missions or whatever. I'm not uh, not too good on my history 
So this place is very cool. Definitely come check this out next time, guys. And uh, tell me what you think in the comments below. I hope you like this episode. And uh, not too eventful, but who knows what will happen next time. We never know what will happen, do we? <laughs> and uh, all right, guys. So until next time, my name is Dark Dally, and I will catch you all later.